Now we win. It's action. Hey guys, I'm Dan Buck and we're here at Cardistry Con in Hong Kong. And uh, my good friend Alex has asked me to share some uh, tips and advice on the Le Paul spread. This is one of my favorite flourishes of all time. This is what it looks like. It's a very mechanical, almost automatic way to spread a deck of cards. So I'll get into uh, how to do it. There's not a lot to it, it's just a lot of practice. You're gonna have to do this for thousands of hours, maybe not thousands of hours, but it takes a lot of work. So the first thing you wanna do is start with a really shitty deck of cards. I have one right here. <laughs> um, and this is the grip. You want four fingers on the right side, all bunched together, and towards the top. You want a little bit of space on the back side, like this. And then your thumb rests across the top side of the deck. So if you just copy this grip, you're doing good. From here, you're gonna flex or bow the deck like this. So just by squeezing with the fingers. Also notice that the tips of my fingers are almost flush with the top of the deck. You obviously don't want them over like that because you're not gonna be able to spring the cards. So just keep them flush. And you want a little bit of room underneath. So there's some uh, space between the deck and the palm of your hand. And that's it. So from this position, you're gonna squeeze and just spring the cards off your fingers, like that. You're essentially doing a card spring off your fingers. And that's really it. Um, once you can do that, I'll show you guys again. You can move on. So. I would suggest practicing, like I said, with a shitty deck of cards, because you are gonna destroy your cards. But once you can get an even, clean spring, from there, you're gonna use your opposite hand and sort of just move the spread along, like this, holding the cards underneath. So your fingers are supporting the spread, so underneath. Looks like that. So again, you're in this position, your hand's gonna come over, spring, and then just move your hand to the right. If you're left-handed, holding the cards in your left hand, come over with your right hand and just move it to the right. This is gonna take lots of practice, as I said, but after a while, you'll slowly get it. Um, and then from there, what you can do, is get this nice little wave, wavy shape. So it kind of looks like an S. So to do that, you're gonna come with your opposite thumb way at the bottom, and then kind of move at a diagonal. So instead of moving straight across to get a normal spread, you're gonna take your hand and move it forward at a diagonal. And then if I come away, you'll see this little part right here is what's kind of forming the S. This is just your normal spread. So it's just this, this left-hand packet, this slight little curve that creates the illusion of this nice S shape. Also, it's very important to keep this thumb at a horizontal position to the deck. You don't want it like this, but just keep, keep it natural, resting ac across the top edge. And that's what also helps create this S, S shape. But that's it.